Playable elites are not happening anytime soon. Cortana has basically been confirmed to not be in the multiplayer anytime soon either. And it looks like Iron Man's back on sale. Some crazy things happening in gaming in general as a whole. So I wanted to cover that in this video. So stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. So for the final week of the shop right here in season one, guys, we have some pretty good sales going on. We have the Fire and Frost, which has kind of been known as like the Iron Man coating, which comes for your Mark 7, your Yoroi, as well as your Mark 5B right here. But then you also get the Snow Whisper coating for your assault rifle, which is pretty clean right there. And you also have some of the uh, the blue coatings you have for your sniper rifle right there, as well as the Bulldog. And then you have a Stance as well with a Bulldog, which is pretty cool looking. And then you have a bunch of sword emblems as well after that so that's up for 1200 credits down from 2000 as previously and also we have the splinter desert setup right here which has kind of a bit of a desert co coating right here for your mark 7 you have like the horns you have like an ox kind of thing on your warthog right here which looks kind of cool also you don't really get to see that in game a whole lot so i'm not really much interested in that uh, you also get a coating for your uh, warthog you also get one for your mongoose another one for your tank pretty much the whole like vehicle suite you're getting your coatings right here which actually do look pretty nice on them if you're into like the more like kind of digital sand kind of coating kind of look to your whole thing you can do that for 800 credits for 1000 credits you get the cat ears <laughs> they're back again <laughs> people love these cat ears for 1000 credits right here you get the coating right there you also get the cat ears which are the perfect audio which obviously you would have it would absolutely would be perfect you also get an emblem you also get the cat emblem as well this bundle's been in the store i think the, the third maybe the fourth time it's been in the store so this might be the last time you're able to grab it guys if you're uh, season one fans here then also you get the sun setting coating right here for your uh, rocket launcher here, which obviously the rocket launcher definitely could use some more coatings for 300 credits. And there you go. And the final week of Tenrai has passed for us, guys. And now we're left with the final week of season one. And the weekly ultimate is the Bell Toll Visor, which is like a really cool looking black visor. You can see here in action and like, yeah, it's a pretty sweet looking visor. It's black, but like if you want grind out for it that's the way to do it i was looking through the weekly challenges and nothing like, seems really too crazy the only one that i have that i'm like bro i'm really gonna have to try to do this it's get 10 kills with the hydra i'm like not because like the hydra is hard to get kills or anything it's just because it's hard to find the hydra on the map unless you're playing fiesta and then at that point you're just playing pure luck and then you'll probably get destroyed by a rocket launcher and man some of these challenges i'm just like i i just do not want to look forward to doing that but like you get 10 energy sword kills like Recharge is like the only map that has a sword on it. Now for some heartbreaking news for some of you dino boys out there in the Halo community. Sketch recently replied to a tweet here. Basically, this guy makes a long statement about why elites need to be in Halo. And well, Sketch basically says, I applaud your passion and gusto, but I will give it to you straight. We have a lot of fundamental issues to go after. We may eventually get playable elites, but sorry to say it's not in the current priority actively being worked on right now. So basically within the first year, yeah, there's not going to be any form of elites happening anytime soon, which kind of understandable, kind of expected since they already stated like a long time ago that there will be no playable elites in Halo. Now me personally, I've also been a huge fan of just not having to play against elites, but that's just me. I know a lot of people love their elites out there. I mean, it worked well in Invasion, but for regular multiplayer, I'm kind of glad that they're not in there. But there's another thing to know about that's not going to be in Halo anytime soon. And the other thing that looks to not be in Halo is going to be Cortana. In a tweet right here from Justice Age, just kind of help promoting that we, so that we have Season 2 coming out here in a few days. A person tweeted saying, six days of asking if Cortana can be an AI multiplayer. And pretty much the same kind of response here, saying, I appreciate your commitment. Uh, and as much as I love Cortana as Jane Taylor, there are no plans currently to make Cortana an AI in multiplayer. Now, I never expected Cortana to come in as an AI voice character within the multiplayer side of things for Halo. Uh, I mean, it certainly would be a cool thing to have happen and maybe sometime down the line, but of course it's not going to be within the first year or so of Halo being out, which I would think it would be having a Cortana voice in the multiplayer would just be very fitting, you know, just because like the AI voice, well, Cortana is an AI and the AI voice kind of helps direct you what's going on. Same kind of way it happens in the multiplayer and a campaign side of things. Well, I would hope to see the same thing, but hopefully we get some other kind of voices coming in as well with season two. 
Now I know you're hungry for some new content when it comes to Halo, but to satiate that hunger, what you can try is some TryTreats.com. TryTreats.com is a great way for you to expand your snacky borders, and the country we're testing out today is Thailand. <laughs> Such countries like France, Croatia, Korea, Australia, South Africa, Canada, Mexico, and so many more. So if you're looking to broaden your snacky borders or missing one of your favorite treats from the country you used to live in, TryTreats.com has got you covered. If you have any questions, check out their links in the description of this video as well for their socials. So if you want to try them out, check out my link in the pinned comment and the description down below. Get you 15% off your first box when you use my code KevinCoolX at checkout. And thank you very much TryTreats for sponsoring this video. Now in some interesting news outside of Halo, we have a brand new season coming for Call of Duty Vanguard, guys, with Season 3. And this season has some larger-than-life elements coming into it as well. Larger-than-life as in, like, King Kong and Godzilla are taking part of a Warzone event called Monarch here, guys, for Season 3, which is just like, I have no idea how these are going to be implemented into the gameplay at all. It does look like they'll be, like, on the map itself of Caldera, on there attacking you and maybe your teammates in some capacity. I don't know if you could take them down. Uh, there's a lot of uh, gray area, unknown stuff when it comes to the implementation of Godzilla and, well, King Kong right here within the map. So it'll be interesting to see how these actually play out. I'll definitely will fill out more information, guys, moving forward about this, but it definitely does look, well, very interesting to say the least, especially like Godzilla coming on the map, dude. Like that's just insane. I mean, look at this right here. This is just gonna be crazy with Godzilla just kind of swoop it in <laughs> and then like breathing like hot ice fire whatever the heck he breathes out on the map dude like that's gonna be insane it's gonna be crazy the new season also comes with some bundles where you can look like king kong right here which i don't think a lot of people are gonna look like it because we got this badass like mega god zilla looking one right here which like i'm not a huge call of duty player but i do play over time here and there and like this looks kind of insane the season three update also comes with some map changes as well with some kind of like of a dig site location being brought into the map as well as you can see with these crazy these skeletons kind of throughout the map which looks kind of sick right here which is aptly named dig site is under some huge skulls and other skeletal remains of giant serpent creatures with some new fortifications in areas like peak runway and also lagoon got some updates as well so it's not just like king kong and godzilla and some new stuff to buy there's some actual like map changes here which is coming interesting there's a four new weapons coming here we have the m1916 marksman rifle we have the nikita assault rifle we also have the h4 blexen smg and a sledgehammer <laughs> melee weapon which why not and the full season drops guys here on april 27th so come around right on the corner so keep an eye out for that and some other gaming news overwatch 2 beta invites should be going live well today the community manager for overwatch stating that from his understanding that they should be going out day and day so like today and also that you'll be able to get your invites pretty much like through emails today if you guys signed up for it a lot of these beta accesses will be given away through Twitch drops from XQC, Pokimane, and other main big name streamers out there. There's a big list right here on this website if you guys want to check it out. I'm sure if you just go through Overwatch's thread on Twitch, you'll be seeing a lot of people saying the exclamation drops. And yeah, there's a lot of people doing drops right here. So just go in and all you have to do is just kind of watch their stream. And the community manager for Overwatch does say if you watch four plus hours of any kind of stream out there, of participating channels, you'll be able to get your guaranteed beta key. This is kind of the same way they did the beta drop for Valorant as well. So if you guys are new to the channel, missing any content from recently, check out the playlist right here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.